and I escorted Haile Selassie in 1949. Yeah, during the Exodus, the Great Exodus. Well, what, 1949. What Bob Marley sings about. He came, he came to uh, visit Asmara, and he had his own bodyguards, but you couldn't trust him because there was Somalis, there was Eritreans, the ship that were rampant, and so were the Momo further down in Kenya, and he had to be looked after. So they took ten southwest borders. And we sort of surrounded him to take him down to Agadat, where he was handed, once you reach Agadat, then you're heading into Ethiopia, which was Abyssinia. And the graves that you've seen as you go down, mainly Scots regiments. And you think, well, you've won it once, took it off the Italians, and then they, they said, I'm going to put it again. Eritrea and Ethiopia. I mean, most people in uh, Eritrea now, they speak a language called Tigranian or Aramaic, which is the language that Jesus Christ spoke. But the Lion of Judah, he's about five foot shit or tall, he wears feathers and that. I, at that time, was about six foot tall, and I could see the top of his hat, and I wouldn't wear it at. <laughs> He was a little... Did delight. you help him during the exodus? Well, I did my best out of my separate He's a little prat. I mean, he lived in Bristol all through the war. Yeah, and then they, uh, all his Rasta followers, didn't they move to Jamaica and settle well, there? Well, no, most of those. I mean, they looked on him as a Rastafarian because Rastafaria comes from Ethiopia. He was the Prince Ras, wasn't he? He was Prince Ras. I mean, you had another Prince Ras, he was a tipster, he used to be at Epsom Place Court. Prince Ras Mon Monolulu, he used to do the tips. You had to give him half a crown for a tip at Epsom. But uh, the Lion of Judah, he looked more like uh, the Cat of Judah, because uh, I couldn't see nothing. nothing. He had plenty of feathers in his hat. He's red feathers and a hula hula skirt. <laughs> What's the song they used to sing? Ali Salasi, Ali Salasi, Mada, Asmara Baga, Ali Salasi, Asmara Baga, Asmara Baga. Now that was the song the kids used to sing. That was the praise be to Jah. Those who wanted to belong to Ethiopia, but the Eritreans didn't want to, because a lot of the Ethiopians at that time, I mean, they was. They were bandits, shifter. There was Gabriel Mozarski, Tespasian, and they were all, there was bills, it was like Texas, wanted, dead or alive, a hundred pounds. Dead or alive. People like Mozarski, Tespasian, and then you had uh, coming over the border for his little raid with D. Dan Kamithi, and we never got no rewards, and we shot. Our platoon shot Gabriel Mozarski and three of his men. We didn't get no hundred pound reward and hundred pound debt. I mean, I hundred pound that would have shared out nicely between the uh, the company or the platoon. It was only on about uh, two pound two pound ten shillings a freaking week. And ten bob of that was for being an active service. 